Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions, their true, genuine intentions towards you, towards this connection. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Virgo watching. So let's jump right in and see. For Virgo, Spirit Angels, guys. The person that Virgo is thinking about or connecting with at this time, Spirit. What are their thoughts, feelings towards Virgo? What are they thinking, feeling towards Virgo at this time? The person that Virgo is thinking about or connecting with. What are they thinking, feeling about Virgo? Judgment. Six of Pentacles. And the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Interesting judgment and the Devil. This could be somebody realizing or having an awakening about how they got themselves into a specific spot. Or maybe this is someone that's realizing that they made some mistakes here because of the Six of Pentacles. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, just not have to be, but I feel like this is more about realizing certain mistakes led to a certain outcome. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups. So this could be somebody thinking about the past a lot, which makes sense because judgment is about looking back at the past, kind of realizing how you got to where you are now. So let's see, what is this judgment energy about? Spirit, tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Page of Wands. So interesting, whatever they're realizing here with judgment, I feel like someone is wanting to do something about it, maybe feeling very motivated even motivated enough to send a message because the page of wands likes to take initiative, take in, you know those those risks, putting themselves out there. Tell me more about judgment. Three of Pentacles. Interesting. I feel like someone wants to build something new, uh, work on something new because of what they've realized here. Can I get one more? For judgment and this is your person's energy six of wands yes to achieve success victory now the five of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck so i feel like this person has had certain losses when it comes to love when it comes to you maybe um maybe they ended up out in the cold and it's almost like they're realizing something here to kind of motivate them or spark them into action um now that i see the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles here i think of fixing this issue you know maybe they want to come back in right they don't want to be away from you or out in the cold struggling tell me about the six of pentacles why is the six Okay, we have the Ten of Wands and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So again, I feel like there has been some sort of burden, baggage, obligation with the Ten of Wands, some sort of difficulty that this person is kind of thinking about experiencing here. It's like they want to address this, this Ten of Wands and bring it back into balance through some sort of action here with the King of Wands, Page of Wands. Can I get one more, please, for the Six of Pentacles? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Okay, we got two. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And there's the world. Interesting, because judgment comes right before the world. So King of Cups, King of Wands, I think of someone who is acting on their emotions. They are obviously having feelings for someone. There's the Five of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. 
there's love for someone with the King of Cups, but also it's almost like there's action that someone wants to take. Because the Ten of Wands leads to the Ace of Wands, judgment leads to the world. So it's almost like they want to address some sort of difficulty and maybe have a new start, a new cycle, a do-over. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here, Spirit? Why is the world here? Nine of Wands. Interesting, I instantly got this energy of they don't trust that this could happen. This is someone that's very like, they've been through a lot, this person. Or at least that's what they're, they're thinking about some sort of difficulty. Sorry, this duck is really it's a little too big for my hands, but they're thinking about some sort of difficulty here. When they think about, you know, everything that they're wrapping up to start new, whatever has to do with this new cycle, I feel like they've been through hell and back to get to this place, to this moment in time where they can have a do-over. Tell me about the world. I'm trying to wonder if you're involved here. Strength, Leo energy. Yeah, it's like they have to be strong enough because they've been through so much. There's the Ace of Cups. So Virgo, take it as it resonates. I don't know if this is difficulty that your person has experienced specifically with you, like within your connection, or if this some sort of difficulty they've experienced outside of you or away from you. But when they think about this new start, this new cycle, wrapping up the old to begin the new, because that's the world, it's like they, they, they're ready to do this because it's been so hard. Wherever they are now, it's really hard and they kind of want to get out of this energy to this energy. Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, New Cycle. Could be that they're in a difficult situation or it could be that they just made mistakes that they had to pay for with the devil. Because the devil is all about t temptation, lust, desire, but it's about how those desires lead to restriction, lead to bonds, lead to attachments, lead to feeling stuck. Tell me about the devil. What is this devil energy about, Spirit? For Virgo's person. Six of Swords, exactly. Leaving this behind. Walking away from this energy. Tell me more about the devil. Tell me more about the devil, please. Justice, Libra energy. And then the Three of Cups. Interesting, there could be a third party situation here. Other people involved. There's the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. But this could also be that they are leaving this difficulty behind in order to come together with you, to make things right with you, with justice. I see that as well. Some of you, this was like an official decision that your person made to walk away from something. I'm seeing papers, so I don't know if they signed certain papers to like leave a situation, leave a job or something. But this is very clear energy. This is someone that has walked away to have a new beginning. Everything here is pointing to something new, something different than what they have now. Tell me more about this person's energies. The person that Virgo is thinking about or connecting with spirit. What are their energies? Overall energies, please, at this time. Oh my God, what is happening? Closed off. Hang on. Hang on.
guarded, defensive, resistant, being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. Yeah, I think this person's waking up to the fact that they might have been living in denial, Virgo. Yeah, sudden realization. They, they've had a realization with judgment. And I think it's leading to a tower. Unexpected event is here, which is kind of like my tower card. Bottom of the deck is true love. This is kind of the undercurrent. Um, the way that they feel for you, I feel is leading them to make the, these decisions, to have these realizations. What do they wish to tell Virgo? What does this person wish to tell Virgo spirit? What do they wish to tell Virgo? They wish to tell Virgo. Not this time, Spirit. The timing just wasn't right for us. Bottom of the deck, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Interesting. If you're dealing with a Gemini, you might want to check that reading. Because it could be that there was a karmic lesson here for your person. Maybe they were stuck in a karmic situation. Um, and they're leaving that behind, walking away from that. I'm starting to think that whatever that devil represents, whatever your person's walking away from, it's not you or your connection with them. It's, it's something else that's helping them come back to you or come together with you. Um, I don't think this tower is between you and them. I mean, it could be also that there was a tower in the past and they're having realizations about that tower but um more than anything I, I get the sense that this is them having some sort of karmic journey on their own and of course tell me if that's resonating for you in the comments what do they wish to tell virgo what do they wish to tell virgo I see forever with you. So they're seeing a future with you here. Bottom of the deck, this is out of my control. Yeah, I feel like they were stuck somewhere in a karmic situation where they were kept from you. Or they were separated from you. Spirit, what is this person's true intentions? What are their true intentions towards Virgo? What are their true intentions towards Virgo? We got, okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Freedom, stability, independence. This is definitely somebody unattached. What are their true intentions towards Virgo? Five of Swords, and then the bottom of the deck, the Six of Cups. I think they're freeing themselves from a difficult situation, from a conflict. Maybe they're being very strategic here. I think of like the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords as someone that's like disentangling themselves from a situation that has turned ugly. Um, I feel like this person got made some decisions in the past that have put them on a it's almost like they're, they're, the consequences from their past decisions needed to happen for them to be redirected. That's the best way that I can say that. They had to be redirected to something else. Yeah, there's the Eight of Cups. I just cut the deck here. They needed to walk away from something. They needed to leave something behind. Um, but I feel like they had to learn this the hard way. You might be soulmates with the Six of Cups here. I think their intentions are to free themselves of this conflict. To be independent, unattached, single, etc. So I'm starting to think this is a third party situation. Um, a situation where they were busy somewhere else. <laughs> and they're having realizations now. They're waking up now to the fact that they, that's not where they're meant to be. You know? That they have to leave that behind. Some sort of karmic situation behind. And I think that you had a, a similar reading a few months back. So this could be a continuation of that. But that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, um, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. 
and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.